everybody. I had such a good time on our last video of a quote-unquote approachable art yarn. I wanted to make another one. And so this is, I've already spun one bobbin. I'm going to do, this can be a two-ply yarn. And so I've spun one bobbin. This is really pretty deep teal Romney. And I've been sporadically mixing in little bits of Firestar, which I really like Firestar. And I know a lot of people have very mixed feelings on sparkle versus no sparkle in yarn. I, uh, no surprise here, I like sparkle. But um, I want to show you the supplies. So this is the Romney, which is... Really, I think it's really fun to spin. It's been really easy to spin. It is not as soft as a merino, but I think it makes a really nice woolly structured yarn. So I actually really enjoy spinning Romney as long as it's clean and, you know, in a nice roving. So this is my roving. I've used it a lot for drop spindle classes as well as some drop spindle kits because I find that it drafts really well. It's got kind of a nice slippier uh, draft. Sometimes I feel like merino, because it's so cottony, will kind of hang on to itself. And I like to do kind of a semi-supported long draw, and I find that um, this, as well as Cordell, lends itself really well to that. And this is the Firestar, which, when I first started spinning, I didn't realize that there were different types of sparkle. I thought it was all just sparkle. <laughs> and they all have really fun names. But from what I understand, what's called, what we think of more that looks like the confetti sparkle, that's kind of spikier, I guess, is called Angelina. That's what I've usually heard it called. This is Firestar. It kind of, it's much more like hair, as you see. Firestar, it is shiny, but it's soft, and it's more like hair. And it is a nylon, and this has been hand-dyed this color, which I just happen to think went really well <laughs> with this color. So I was excited about it, and I actually think I'm going to do a whole series of um, series of these of solid. The plan is it's going to be two-ply, and what I'm doing is by just every once in a while spinning in the little bit of Firestar, my plan is when I two-ply it that it will get kind of double put in there, in different places and I think it's going to look really cool. And so my singles as I'm spinning them are pretty, I mean they're slightly thick and thin but not on purpose, like nothing uh, nothing planned. But they are just nice woolen singles, roughly worsted to sport weight. Um, but yeah, definitely a nice woolen single is what I'm spinning. So I just split my fiber supply in two and that's what I'm working on. And I've got this on the bigger setting because I didn't want it to get too twisty. And I wanted to go ahead and show you this part before I get to the two-ply part. And then I will also film the two-ply part. There you go. And you see Jolene sleeping in her usual spot. So when I say woolen spun, I mean I'm pulling back towards myself. So it, just for a uh, quick review, and I didn't draft this down too much. As, like I said, it, it spins really well. Just kind of loosened it up. Worsted would be pulling it forward and smoothing it back. What I'm doing for woolen, since this drafts so well, is I'm just pulling back towards my hip and then walking it up. So this is what's usually I've heard called a supported long draw. Traditional long draws where you just kind of do it that way <laughs> without the support which I find that I like doing regular long draw, but for me it gets too thin. So I like doing a supported long draw because it lets me keep it a little thicker, which is what I wanted for this. And so I'm not really doing much with this hand. All this hand's doing is just kind of feeling the twist. So I would call that hand more of a monitor hand than an action hand. So the action, I'm really letting the wheel do all of the action and the uh this hand's just monitoring the twist and the other hand's just pulling back so that's how i'm getting these nice fluffy lofty singles which is what i wanted because i wanted a real lofty looking yarn not a real compact perfect looking yarn and uh, as you see jolene finds this incredibly incredibly exciting don't you jolene oh yes I promise she's not dead. She's not dead. She's just really lazy. So the way I'm adding in the fire star is I'm getting just a little pinch and then I'm laying it in the same direction 
And I have more in depth on uh, marbling yarn and different add-ins on our Dream Yarn course, which is on our Patreon page. But I'm just kind of sporadically laying it in the same direction and then just spinning like normal. And you can see it gets, uh, move it a little closer for that. You can see it gets twisted in there and just disperses. So let me spin a little bit further. I'll show you some more. And so I'm just gonna get a pinch. Walk that up, get my pinch. I'm gonna lay it in there like that. And then you just spin it and it, you just let the wheel take it and it pops right in there. And one thing, like I said, what I like about the Firestar is it doesn't really have a different texture. It has a different, sh I mean, obviously it's shiny and it's a different color, but it spins the same way that this Romney does. So in the yarn, there's a lot right there. In the final yarn, it feels just like the yarn. So it's not something that's going to feel di really different as far as like, oh, well, that's itchy or, oh, there's little spiky things sticking out. You can see there's not. So like I said, I think this is going to be super pretty. Um, let's see, kind of a preview, if you will. I think it's going to be super pretty two plied together. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm two plying. I'm really excited about this. You see, I've got my two singles that I already spun with the little mixed in fire star and I'm two plying it. And since this is, you can see all my singles <laughs> and my fuzzy pants that uh, it is a slightly, but not super, you know, it's slightly thick and thin. I just uh, spun it woolen so it would have kind of that slightly thick and thin single look um, versus worsted making it really compact. So the combination of these slightly varying fibers when applied, I'm trying to get, there we go, I think turns out really cool. So you've got kind of a, uh, you know, slight variation in the plying and then the sparkle that gets mixed in. And I think it's just really pretty. I'm super happy with how this turns out. It's kind of subtle, but um, also, you know, shiny and fun. So I think this is, and it'll be really versatile. So I will show you the finished skein, of course, once it's uh, off and relaxed. But I'm just, if you're a newer spinner, I'm just spinning this a really, you know, just basic two-ply, like nothing, nothing crazy going on here. Just, uh you know, spinning the opposite direction of how I spun the singles, and that's how I'm plying. So, you know, no big major technique, just spinning counterclockwise, and uh, put my yarn on the opposite side. I usually spin with my singles on the right side, and I'm just plying them on the left. And this is my Spinolution King Bee and the little 3D printed uh, honeycomb bobbins. And uh, you will see me use this a lot. So I will stay tuned for pictures of this yarn. But this is my second attempt at what we're calling approachable art yarn. Of yarn that is unique and fun. And has, you know, neat texture or colors to it. But is also still very easy to use in projects. Have you fallen down the cottage industry rabbit hole yet? Well, if not, buckle up, Alice, and click on over to the description in the show notes and sign up. Then you can get ready for the most fun induction into the cult of all things yarn and fiber. This will include, but not limited to, free yarn, free ebooks, patterns, coupons, and much more. You don't want to miss out.